Problem 15. This one walks half a mile to get to school every day. So distance, right, distance is equal to 0 0.5 miles. His route consists of 10 city blocks of equal length, and he takes one minute to walk each block. So that means the total, the total time, right, the total time must be equal to 10 times 1, which is 10 minutes. That's how much time it takes for him to get to school after walking the 10 blocks. Today, after traveling five blocks, this one discovers he has to make a detour, walking three blocks of equal length instead of one block to reach the next corner. Um, from the time he starts his detour, at what speed must he walk in order to get to school at his usual time? So to digest this question, right, what is it saying? This one is walking his usual pace, but all of a sudden when he gets to here, he changes his pace to get to school at the same time he usually does. So first of all, how, how do you calculate, you know, how do you calculate um, velocity? Well, velocity is you go to the distance divided by the time. In this case, when we just travel a straight line without a detour, what is his velocity? Well, the velocity is 0 0.5 miles per 10 minutes. But 10 minutes, we want it in terms of hours. So that's 10 minutes, right, per one, um, one hour times, uh, let's see, uh, 60 minutes. Or we shouldn't do that. We should do, this is 60 minutes. But then for every minute, right, there's 60, or for every hour, there's 60 minutes. So in other words, this is equal to 1 over 6 hours. So with this understanding, this divided by 1 over 6 hours will give us 3 miles per hour. That's his velocity originally. <coughs> so <clears throat> how much time does he take to walk the first 5 blocks? Well, time is equal to distance divided by velocity. So the time it takes for the first 5 blocks will be equal to the distance, which is 5 times or 5 times 1, right? Because we are we're already told that he takes 1 minute to walk each block. So the time is just 5, right? It's equal to 5. So 5, if we have already used the 5 minutes, then the time it takes for him to walk the detour and the remaining 4 blocks would be 10 minus 5, which is equal to 5. He has 5 minutes to complete his detour and the original 4 block route. And once again, velocity is distance divided by time. So what is the new distance that he must travel? Well, every block is the same length right? And if he travels 0.5 miles across 10 blocks, then 0.5 miles divided by 10 would give us the number of miles per block, which is equal to 0.05 miles per block, right? So what is the new distance that he must travel? Well, the new distance, just count it up, right? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He must travel 7 blocks, so 7 blocks multiplied by miles per block. The units of blocks gets canceled, and we're only left with 0.7. 0.35 miles. His new distance is 0.35 miles, so 0.35 miles divided by the time it must take him to go there, which in this case is 5 minutes, but 5 minutes, right, we must convert this to hours, so times 1 hour divided by 60 minutes will give us our final answer. So 5 divided by 60 is 12. So what is 0.35 times 12? Well, 0.35 times 12, that's uh, 735, right, 0, 0, 0.024. So then we have a security to two, so we put a dot here, so that's 4.2. So your answer will be answer choice B.